Okay, artists, so welcome back. Today we're going to use sort of everything that we've been learning over the past two weeks about layering, burnishing, and scratching to create a hummingbird drawing. So hopefully you enjoy our video today. First, we're going to sketch it out. And I'm actually going to use uh, all these crayons right here. I think I selected most of the ones that I think I'm going to need, but I may go back and forth between my crayon box and the ones that are here. I just thought that it would be nice for you to know which colors I was thinking of using. So let's see if I can name them for you. Um, beautiful. Let's see, there's also cornflower, periwinkle, violet, turquoise blue, black, white, Robin's Egg Blue, Granny Smith Apple, Yellow, Green, Tumbleweed, Purple Mountain's Majesty, Orchid, Mobilis, Raw Sienna, Macaroni and cheese. I haven't really looked at these names. Melon. Red orange. Wild strawberry. And this is just the other half of that white that broke off. So I'm going to try to stick to these, but then again, I may have to go back into my crayon box and get another crayon that is going to help me sort of bring out the colors that I want in this drawing. So the first thing I'm going to do is just like how we've been doing before when we're sketching out a drawing is I'm going to take a gray crayon, any gray crayon is going to do, even the silver one, and I'm going to nicely and sort of softly sketch out the drawing. And the first thing I'm going to do is sketch out the flower that the hummingbird is going to be sort of um, getting the nectar from. It's going to be a Hawaiian shaped flower. make it very bumpy. There's the first petal. And one of the reasons why I like these flowers is because they can be very rough with the edges and the more imperfect that, that you actually make them the better because most of these flowers have sort of broken edges and clipped edges and they're very easy to draw in that way where you don't have to worry about making it perfect or look an exact way so they're very fun to draw and then also a lot of the um, or the characteristics that make this well recognizable come from the colors that you use to blend them out I'm going to put that in there to show that I'm going to make those lines darker later. I'm going to make the stem where it's coming from. So I think I'm done with the flower. Now I'm going to draw the hummingbird. And let's see. Start with the head, which is a sort of semicircle. And then from here, I'm going to draw its beak. And a hummingbird's beak is slightly curved, so I'm not going to make it completely straight. It's also really thin. See that? Then I dip with a slight semicircle and then I continue a little bit down. I'm going to finish off the head and the reason why I do a gray is that if I later change my mind I want to change the shape of something 
it's not going to necessarily come through when I start layering on the colors. And I'm going to kind of make a semicircle that sort of looks like a smile here because this is where I'm going to start making the wings. See how I initially thought I was going to make them shorter? I think I changed my mind. They, they should probably look better with them longer. I'm going to make all these lines to show where the feathers are going to go on the first layer. And then the hummingbirds' feathers are really beautiful because they have almost three layers to them in terms of lines. See how I did that? That initial layer of feathers, the middle layer, and then the layers that are closer to the body. And I'm going to add a bit more of where some colors are going to be that I want to sort of outline. Don't forget the eye. And then the other. There we go. Then the feathers near the bottom of the hummingbird. Okay. So that is a very rough sketch that I made of how I'm going to be making this drawing. Again, I might change my mind a little bit later. That's what I love about using a gray crayon when you're doing drawing with crayons, because if you use a black, it's going to be a lot more difficult to layer on the colors without having the black come through and kind of make it look less realistic if that is what your goal is. But the only part of this drawing that is not going to be crayon is the hummingbird's eye just because it's very <laughs> difficult to get a clean edge on such a small scale so i'm going to color it in and leave one tiny piece what the rest of it is going to be pretty much except for maybe this part right here, just crayon so i'm going to put down my first layer of color in the general areas of my drawing and then after that we're going to just relax and do our best okay so the first color that i'm going to use in terms of layering down is going to be uh, light purple so i'm going to use purple mountain majesty and again it's a very light layer it's very quick I'm trying to be very soft, but also try to keep within the shape that I already put down. I'm going to put some of that color over here too. See, and then I'm going to actually do a little bit of this violet near the middle part of the flower that's getting lost there. I want to make sure that I remember that. And then I think actually no. Yeah, I'm gonna save that and then I'm gonna add some of the blue for the feathers that I was thinking of doing. This is cornflower. I'm 
looking good. So very light layer. I'm going to blend in more color later, do some scratching, do a little bit of burnishing. But for right now, I wanted you to see what my initial layer of color is going to look like. little bit of green and some yellow. The green that I put down just before the yellow is Granny Smith. Sprinkle a little bit of that yellow there. And then I'm going to add a little bit more of color to, I think, right here, this part of um, the body and feathers. I'm going to work a little bit more on the leaves that I outlined right here. I'll, I'll put down an actual green for the first layer that I'm going to do right there. I'm going to be still trying to keep within the lines, but it's still a very rough first layer. And then I'll do actually a little bit of brown so that I don't forget where my stem of my flower is. And then kind of color that middle part in because I am almost losing that. Stem that. I'm gonna put a little bit of yellow too. Yeah, whatever color, so we'll get it later. Okay, so there you have it. That is my first layer of color. I'm gonna go in now and start to layer, burnish, and scratch to get the finished drawing at the end. So, again, we're going to speed it up right now. I hope you enjoy and you can follow along. Okay. <laughs>
Well, there you have it. I'm actually pretty proud of how the hummingbird turned out. Not so much the flower. I started off with wanting it to sort of match the colors that I wanted for the hummingbird, but then they got kind of muddled. I'm pretty sure it's because I didn't layer them right. And then also I burnished some places where I meant to layer, but you know what? It still turned out okay. And again, I'm really proud of my bird. So remember, when it's crayon, it's actually very difficult to erase. And one of the only techniques you can use for that is to scratch it off, which is what I sort of try to do here. But it's also a good technique for when you want to add texture, like what I did over here with the feathers. So yeah, just do the best you can. And the whole point of drawing is to have fun. So hopefully you enjoyed that video. Again, this was not my best, but I'm actually really proud of this bird. So I can't wait to draw with you again tomorrow. Actually, maybe the following week. Ms. Suarez's computer actually broke, so it might take me a while to upload videos on the same schedule that I was this past week, but I can't wait to draw with you again soon. 